This video will cover the topic, Evaluating a Quadratic Expression, Integers. When evaluating a quadratic expression, we will substitute the value assigned to the variable in for the variable. Then, we will proceed to simplify as much as possible. I'm not sure I understand. What exactly is a quadratic expression? A quadratic expression is a polynomial that has a degree of 2. This looks like ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c represent constant numerical coefficients in front of the variables. For a polynomial expression to be considered quadratic, 2 must be the largest exponent in the polynomial. For example, 2x squared minus 8x plus 9 is a quadratic expression. Notice how the degree, or largest exponent, of the polynomial is 2. Let's work through an example problem. We are asked to evaluate the following expression when n is equal to negative 4. n squared plus 6n plus 3. The first thing we will do is substitute negative 4 for n. Since n equals negative 4, is an essential piece to solve this problem. Simplifying this would result in negative 16 minus 24 plus 3, right? Well, not quite. Negative 4 squared equals negative 4 times negative 4, which is equal to positive 16, since the product of two negative numbers results in a positive number. Oh yeah, that's right. This means we get 16 minus 24 plus 3, right? Exactly. This simplifies even further to negative 5. Let's try another example. We are asked to evaluate the following expression when y equals negative 6. y squared minus 4y plus 1. First, we'll substitute negative 6 into the expression for y. And simplifying this results in 36 plus 24 plus 1. Very good. And when we simplify further, the expression results in a final answer of 61. So in order to solve this type of problem, we first observe the value of the variable given to us in each example. Then we substitute that value for the variable and simplify as much as possible. That's right.